What's going on, people? And basically, let me just go ahead and say it right now. I'm pretty pissed off. I finally got over my cold. And for the most part, Squaresoft has been in the news recently with the entire PSP debacle that I'm going to sit here and talk about. Then I'm going to go into the history. And then I'm going to sit here and tell you all I don't know what exactly because I'm still pissed off about everything that's been going on. But let's go ahead. Let's start on the entire thing about Square Enix and the three-year fan translation of the of the video game that they were talking about here. If you've been paying attention to Squaresoft for a few years in terms of the legal debates, they've been going after their fans pretty harshly. Um, the Kickstarter that started earlier this year, they pretty much went after that, got their pound of the flesh from the people there, and made it more expensive than it really had to be. Um, in terms of video games, they've been shutting down fan-made video games even though they couldn't get off their lazy ass to sit here and provide the fans with the games that they wanted. In terms of all of the old Final Fantasy games and the Chrono Trigger game, sure, they'll pay for that and do that because it's really lazy of them, but they won't sit here and take the time, take the effort to sit here and actually translate games that they have in Japan to bring over into the United States. So when we talk about what was the fan translation work of the PSP game, the Final Fantasy Type O or Type Zero, it was a game that came out in 2011. Now here you have a fan translation that came out. One of the guys that was in charge of it was Skyblade Cloud. And I believe he was the main guy. I'm not going to go into it too much. The basic point is he decided, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to sit here and take some time, take some effort to put our, put some time out of our schedule to make an English translation of it because Square wouldn't do it themselves. Now, what does this mean? Basically, they took two years. Square didn't say shit about it. None of the executives would say anything and said, oh, it's a good thing, blah, 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 blah. But they didn't say anything. Now, 2014 comes up. They say, let's do a non-disclosure agreement, blah, 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 blah. And Skyblade has basically decided he wanted to, to release what was already there, even though it hadn't done that. I mean, even though they hadn't finished with everything that has said. What would happen with that is that Square Scenics announces an English release of Type Zero right when he releases that game, that translation. Now, Skyblade is not in the United States. So, any laws have to go through a different organization and a different company in a different country altogether. But you could just see the things that they were doing out of spite. Two years, they got no answers or any question and then all of a sudden bam they get hit with legal action and legal terrorism that's exactly what copyright has basically become corporate rights as I've said before so going into it even more a lot of people sat here and looked at the square translation and looked at the um, fan translation and a lot of people kind of sat here and said well they made their choice and they made the beds and they pretty much laid in it some people enjoyed the fan translation. But as I've been saying, this is not the first time that Squaresoft has done this. One of the big things that I'm going to show you all is Crimson Echoes. This was another game that Squaresoft basically sat here, ran out of the hills. And there are others that I'm going to be showing you down in the underbar. So that way you all can see exactly what Squaresoft has been doing. Now, the other thing is that they decide, well not only do they want to do this and make a, a patch and everything else but Skyflay just basically said he was forced to remove his post that's why he pretty much put everything to the public and the ones that sat here and get destroyed is consumers the fans the public these are the people that sit here and get fucked over because we don't get new games Squaresoft doesn't do shit for us in terms of actual games and video games that we want to play how many times do they have to sit here and really release Final Fantasy 15 with less and less characters I mean Enlightenment for fuck's sake isn't even a good character compared to Yuna, Riku, Luna and on top of that if you want to really go back 
Tifa and Eris had a hell of a lot more char character and personality along with Yuffie. And Yuffie was barely in the goddamn party for Final Fantasy VII. And then if you want to sit here and look a little bit further, you can sure as hell look at Celis or Terra and how they had to sit here and constantly struggle with things, even though Final Fantasy may not have all of the greatest um, magic in the world, it was sure as hell a lot more entertaining to watch these characters develop than watching Lightning sit here and mess up her lines for the 15th time. So, that's pretty much where I stand with that. But, as I've said, they've wanted their pound of flesh. Other ways that they've wanted their pound of flesh, when they ran a Kickstarter, um, and they want to sit here and they want to run a Kickstarter, but I don't believe them and I don't trust them for anything. And especially for what their fans are doing. Which really, really pisses me off. For the most part, Squaresoft sits here and uses copyright like it's a fucking religion. And I'm going to have something in the underbar so you can see exactly what I'm pointing at. But to sit here and make a long story short, they sit here, they wait until right when, like a viper, they sit here right when the time is right. And then all of a sudden, they want to pull some moronic legal bullshit on people that just want to make good games that find, that Square would not do themselves. We missed out on a 3D Chrono Trigger because they shut down that project. We missed out on Crimson Echoes until someone finally created a 100% outside of the radar Square. Good job on that. And then on top of that, they sit here and they shut down this project and then decide, oh well, we want to do this ourselves after three years. Now what does this tell me and what is the conclusion that I can sit here and pick up from this? Well, Square does not give a flying fuck about the American market. They sit here and act like Bravely Default was a game that nobody could like really translate or relate to. They give us crappy games like Final Fantasy 15, 14, 57 or whatever the hell it is. And then they give us two um, MMOs that are pay to play when everybody can play a free to play game like me for example who likes and enjoys Warframe along with Firefall and quite a few other free to play games it doesn't look like they sat here and realized and recognized nor got the memo that the 90s is over they didn't really understand that people are not looking to be part of the 90s anymore so if they want to stay in Japan they should be free to do so I fully recommend it. I fully endorse it. You want to stay in Japan because I don't have anything that I really want from Squaresoft at this current point in time. They've had problems with the games that they have, such as um, Square um, Tomb Raider. They have expectations way too high. They've sat here and they've mismanaged the video games, the stories of the video games, so they make no sense whatsoever. I couldn't really really understand why you have to play a game for 20 freaking hours to try to sit here and get an ounce of fun out of it. No, no, I, I've done that kind of crap before and that doesn't make any sense to me. Then on top of that, they sit here and, sh and decide, well, we're going to be incredibly obnoxious by suing our fan base just for getting, giving other people the games that we don't want to put out ourselves. Now Capcom does this. But Squaresoft takes it to an entirely new level. You take your pound of flesh from a Kickstarter of all things for opera music that sits here and acts as free advertising for you. And then you don't give us the games that we want because we're still waiting for Chrono Break. We're still waiting for somebody to go back to Chrono Cross and make that game look a little bit more decent than what it was. And then you sit here and tell us that you cannot make Final Fantasy 7 and I'm just waiting for the day to come up when someone actually does the fucking work outside of what Square says that cannot be done. I know it can be done because people do it with Mega Man all the time. People do it with all sorts of things and I got a big project that's going to be talking about this but the fact of the matter is with Squaresoft the fact you have a company that does not like money does not like America and pretty much is telling us any American that actually wants to sit here and enjoy their work, not even just Americans, but like anybody around the world that loves their work outside of Japan, 
they can kindly go fuck off. That's exactly what they're telling us. That's all I got to say on this. Everything else is going to be said in the underbar. I'll see you all next time.